everybody, Pastor Corey from Calvary Baptist Church. So uh, I don't know if you have a work situation where you have to be on a lot of online meetings. Obviously, it's a lot of people are doing that if, if work permits. And there's so many links and meeting IDs and phone numbers to remember and that it can get confusing. And of course, uh, Calvary Baptist, we're doing everything online just like everybody else. So I thought uh, this week I'd give just a quick rundown of all the opportunities to just talk about everything here in one place and how you join us for what and the different uh, weekly online meetings that we have, uh, at least that I know of. There might be other small groups meeting uh, just on their own. Uh, but here's, here's what we do and when we do it, all right? So on Sunday mornings at our normal worship time of 10.30 a.m., we live stream from the sanctuary, a mostly empty sanctuary with just me and the accompanist and a couple of technology volunteers uh, with everybody else streaming from their computer and a few people their phone. Uh, and I'm putting all the links in the description of this video. So we stream online at this, uh, at this streaming site, calvarybaptistnewark.online.church. Um, it's neat because it has a little chat window. Uh, so that way, it's kind of like a way we can check in with each other and say hello, hi, I'm here, without being able to see each other in person, greet each other. Um, so that's Sunday morning. Now that also streams on our Facebook page and our YouTube page, just that they would have, those mediums would have their own unique chat and um, uh, whoever happens to be there. Uh, so we, we stream Sunday morning. Sunday evening, we have something for children and their families, uh, kindergarten through fifth grade. So any parent with a child kindergarten through fifth grade are encouraged to join us on Sunday evenings at 7 p.m. for something we call Word Zoom. Uh, now, sometimes we need just something quick but meaningful, and that's what I go for here. So we spend just 15 minutes uh, with a short family devotional with, uh, you know, sometimes a really quick game. We read a Bible story, usually watch a video, uh, some sort of video presentation of the Bible story and talk about it. Really simple thing on Sunday nights. The, uh, the link, we do that via Zoom. The link for that is in the description. Going in chronological order here, on Tuesdays, we've started something new. This will actually be the first week for this. On Tuesdays, I wanted to do something where we come together with no other agenda but to talk and catch up. Because we have these other things. We have prayer, Bible study, and a couple other things I'll mention here in a second. But no like coffee hour like we're used to on Sunday morning or, or just getting together to say hi. So we're doing that on Tuesdays now for half an hour at 8.30 a.m. and p.m. either time or both. You can just sign on uh, to say hi, talk about whatever, catch up, and then call it that. Uh, and the link for that is in the description. On Wednesdays, it's youth group time. Starting at 6.30, going till about 8. Youth group is for grades 6 through 12, and they meet online again via Zoom. And our youth leader, Kyle, does an amazing job with that. He and the other volunteers, they play interactive computer games on there, watch a video teaching usually, have discussion in uh, breakout rooms using that feature. Uh, and the, the, uh, the teenagers have a lot of fun with that and are really getting something out of it, I think. So that's on Wednesdays. The link is provided. And by the way, uh, <clears throat> Kyle also does a short weekday devotion at 2.15 in the afternoon. Link provided for that as well. On Thursdays, that's become our day for prayer and Bible study. So we have prayer meet, two prayer meetings on Thursdays, one at 12 noon and one at 8 p.m. And then when we do Bible study live, we're, we do it at 7 p.m. And all of those are at the same link. Um, so the noon and 8 prayer gathering, 7 p.m. Bible study, uh, all at the same link. And that's provided in the description. So for right now, that's uh, that's the the gist of what we're doing and where. None of us like this. Um, I sure wish things were back to normal. I sure wish it sounded like things were going to be back to normal sooner than they are. Um, but for the foreseeable future, we will still be doing a lot of things online, uh, even if we get to a point uh, here in the next few weeks or months 
uh, where certain things can be held in person, and we try to do that. We'll see. Uh, we will follow uh, God's best guidance and the advice of health officials. But for now, I want to echo the words of Paul in the book of Philippians, using this time uh, how it's put in the message paraphrase. Every time you cross my mind, I break out in exclamations of thanks to God. Each exclamation is a trigger to prayer. I find myself praying for you with a glad heart. I'm so pleased that you have continued on in this with us, believing and proclaiming God's message from the day you heard it right up to the present. There has never been the slightest doubt in my mind that the God who started this great work in you would keep at it and bring it to a flourishing finish on the very day Christ Jesus appears. It's not at all fanciful for me to think this way about you. My prayers and hopes have deep roots in reality. You have, after all, stuck with me all the way, Paul says in the message version of that Philippians passage. That's kind of how I'm feeling about all of you, the Calvary family. Hope you can join us for all of those opportunities. It's an important way that we can stay together and stay connected. I hope you stay safe and well and have a blessed week. And may God bless and empower you for your work and your mission field this week. See you soon.